Welcome to this video, LWD Adnan here, and we have just had a brand new article released by Dovetail Games on the new upcoming route by Rivet Games, The Five Circle, the 26th of March, which yes, is very, very close to the Suffragette line release, the Goblin line. I will get onto that in a very, very short while. But first and foremost, the important bits and bobs, the route will be £29.99. If you're on Steam on PC, you can get a 10% discount if we pre-order. Nothing new, we're pretty much used to that by now. And yeah, so only one week after the release of the upcoming Overground line. Now that's pretty interesting. Although of course it kind of makes sense because it's not a dovetail release, whereas the Overground line is a dovetail release. And I low-key think it's simply because we're coming up to the end of the fiscal year. So the finances have to be ramped up a little bit and the only way dovetail can really do that is by releasing DLC of the DLC. We know that very well from Train Sim 3, if you remember all the releases that were coming out around this time last year. But anyway, let's get into the meat of it. So we've had a handful of screenshots come out. We had a couple, I think it was literally just two that were out on the roadmap. I believe River Games themselves released a couple more. And we've had a bunch, as you can see behind me, that have just come out alongside the article. And I'll be honest, they look stunning. And where I've been able to compare the game photos to real life photos, I've done that. And I'll let you be the judge of the quality, as I know it can be a very subjective thing. So I won't say too much. We've also had a couple of videos we've had a bit of a preview with the included class 170 which i will get onto in a second there's some things that i'd like to touch on there we've also had a video where we had a bit of a sneak peek into how rivet games model their trains that was a nice bit of information for us for those who are interested in that sort of thing and as i'm speaking a few hours ago we had a we had a trailer for the route and um i'll let you see it for yourself but about 14 seconds into the video as a uh, the class 170 goes past it looks as if the driver's taken quite a fair bit of helium and is floating above the seat interesting material to use for promo but it's nothing really new nothing that we're not used to from uh, various developer studios but at the end of the day realistically we won't really be able to see what quality we're dealing with with the route with regards to the route itself trains the sounds and all of that stuff until we get our hands on it so we'll see realistically until release day it's going to be a work in progress, but from history, we kind of know that work in progress means this is pretty much what you're getting, but fingers crossed. So a little bit of information on the route. We've got 52 miles of track in total with 20 different stations, which to be honest, in this TSW DLC economy, I'll take it, it's pretty flipping good. We also have a split about halfway down the route or up the route, depending on, on where you're coming from, where you can either take the main line or you can take the loop line and regardless, both join back before the end of the run. So it's not like a uh, Blackpool to Preston situation where you've got Blackpool South and Blackpool North and they don't touch, they don't meet basically. We've got the usual helping in terms of collectibles, of route maps, posters. We've got some train planters, which we've seen before in previous uh, Scott Rail routes, especially. And we've also got some seal plushies to collect if that's personally your thing. We've also got five scenarios coming up with this route. We've got a photo shoot scenario, which I do like the sound of. If you watched my previous video on the London Suffragette line, you, you would have heard my rant about scenarios. And so I welcome an actual scenario, something a little bit different to your usual monotonous timetable run. So we've got a photo shoot scenario. I guess it's pretty much self-explanatory, but we'll see uh once the route comes out what that consists of we've also got one where we board the train as a passenger and then get another train <laughs> and we go around the whole loop from what i understand now i'm not quite sure how you can translate that into an exciting scenario it's definitely something different and i'm almost feel like i'm being held at a trap here because i've wanted something different and now that we've got something different i'm a bit unsure of it but i feel like with that something different we should also have something exciting and i don't know how exciting it will be to ride as a passenger now we're not getting any hints that we you know we'll come across anything surprise or anything special or something of the sort it just seems like we'll be taking the train as a passenger so i guess we'll find out when the routes release how that goes once again absolute shock horror we have a weather related <laughs> 
Okay, um, this is part of our run. I won't go into it as well again, but once again, we have a, a weather related scenario, specifically a storm. I won't say anything. And an unexpected obstruction. I won't say anything. The next scenario is uh, where we collect a class 170. It says collect collecting class 170 trains. So it seems like it's going to be quite a few trains that we're going to be handling and taking them to the depot. I'm sure that's going to involve going through a wash as we normally tend to see. And finally, we'll be driving from Dunfermline City to Edinburgh and emptying bins at stations along the way. Now, I don't know if things work a bit different, you know, up in the north. But in London, from what I know, because I've I've worked as a cleaner, we have dedicated cleaners and trains have dedicated drivers. And I haven't heard of a situation where it was up to a train driver to sort the bins. Now, I'm not sure what to think of this one. I guess we'll see once again when it comes out what the excitement factor will be like. But off the jump, once again i just don't know but i'm going to reserve any judgment we'll see once the route comes out this is another route i'm going to get day one to show it off to you guys let allow you guys to find out for yourselves whether it's something that you're going to want to invest in or stay away from so i'll leave it there for now with regards to layers off the rip we've only got the class 170 the article does mention shunting services now i don't know what we're going to use for the shunting services but for passenger runs we've only got the 170 by default with the route if you own the edinburgh to glasgow route with the 385 then you'll be seeing a lot of that the 385 around and if you own the east coast mainline then you'll see the lner class 801 at um, Edinburgh Waverley and I believe these will only be AI services however with the class 385 I believe you will be able to run a short journey with that now further down the line we will see the addition from Skyhook Games of the class 158 I know we've already got a 15810 game this one is a slightly modified, slightly updated, for, well, not updated necessarily, but updated with regards to uh, the ScotRail 158, which has minor differences, but differences nonetheless. Again, there is the argument of should we pay for another train that's been reskinned? I think as long as it's for a reasonable price, personally, I don't have too much of an issue with it. I don't want to see it priced at more than $9.99. Now, the release window for that is in the four to six month range could change could be a longer wait could be a shorter wait regardless once that does come and you purchase that dlc you'll be seeing those fill up the route as well for features once again rivet games have brought in the auto announcement feature this means that you as you're driving you'll automatically hear the announcements playing at different points of the uh, of the service you won't need to press any buttons similar to what we've seen with bernina line and i will say i'm going to get onto the portion of my video where i give my own opinions and i share the community's opinions from what i've seen but right now i'll quickly say that i'm happy that river games have introduced a feature and have stuck with it and been consistent with it something that we don't really tend to see with dovetail games now we also have as another feature functioning gsmr now they haven't gone into detail with regards as to what functioning means it could just mean press the on button and it automatically displays what it needs to display or it could mean that we enter the head code any signal number and you know we sort of able to have a more immersive experience with the gsmr once again that's something that we'll just have to wait and see or maybe fingers crossed something that will be showing off during the preview stream now what are you guys saying i've taken some time to visit the forums and see what the reception is like and as expected it's a mixed bag whenever it's rivet games because of their history and in my opinion they've improved a fair bit to be honest and i'm ready to give them a chance for it but they still have a history they still have a past and that's always going to stain their name at least for the time being i do believe they can get to a point where maybe the past their past specifically won't be as relevant but right now it's a mixed bag it's a mixed um, feedback i think personally i stand in the room with those who are saying let's wait and see the features are great as I, as I said previously i love the fact that rivet will release a new feature or even introduce a new feature into the game and stick by it it's something that i really think dovetail should be aiming for i know there was talk of a list that all new routes should follow 
we haven't seen evidence of that at least i haven't seen evidence of that we have had features that came with a root and were never seen again and this was feature after feature after feature that only stuck around for one root and never to be seen again R uh, features that people praised features that people were impressed with and shared their feedback on and yet still we never saw again so props where props are due well done to river for keeping that consistency with their new features at the end of the day ultimately whether it's down to sounds which some people are very very let down by and i feel like something like sounds it really depends on your personal experience with the local now i've never been on a 158 um, i've been around them very 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 briefly not enough to learn the tones and learn the revs and learn the sound and the, and the rawness of these uh, diesel machines so as long as it sounds pretty much what i expect it to I don't think I'll personally be too fast and I'm sure being on PC mods are going to be released and we'll be able to utilize those mods and even compare the mods to the default thing but for the people who are very passionate about these sort of trains it will suck not having completely immersive sounds and as much as I'll praise Rivet I'll also say that sounds are not their strongest point as we've seen in the present as, we, as we've seen in the past their modeling is amazing their environment is getting better however they still struggle with sounds and I really wish that they would invest just a little bit more in that department so that's pretty much it I've spoken a fair bit um, you guys have seen behind me a fair bit as well let me know your opinions what do you guys think is this a route that you'll be pre-ordering is this a route that you're crazy about or are you going to wait and see what the opinion is before you uh, make a decision also what do you think about river games do you think they're turning a new page do you think it's time to give them a new chance or or do we need to see just a little bit more from them please let me know let's have a discussion let's have a conversation and i'll catch you on the next one take care stay safe look after each other and peace